seen before they're here in this corner all kinds of action if your neighbors are quiet and good then that's the way it's going to be eh? <laughs> it's close to downtown it's close to the hospital which is always convenient and, uh, and it was there at the time it has its moments mind you like every other neighborhood has their moments but it's the people are pretty friendly yeah hey boo No, I think they even had, they had a 7-Eleven down the street and then it closed. I think that's one of the first times I've heard of a 7-Eleven closing. I think it was all the theft and <laughs> robbery. <laughs> yeah, I like it here because every, cause I know everybody around here, right? But in Eden, it's bad around nobody, here. Nobody yeah, it's really bad. I dumpster dive. I don't have to go very far to find furniture. It's all in my back lane. And it's on a constant rotation too. I put out stuff, somebody else puts out stuff, and we just trade. Like, why the West End? I mean, other than living here and growing up here, I guess, I mean, maybe that's enough, but I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a rough area, okay? It's noisy all the time, there's crime, there's prostitutes, or whatever, nothing you can do about it. But then, that's the message there, you gotta, you know, spread out. Meet the diversity in your life, the everyday life thing. So, I don't know, I don't want to get all philosophical on this. <laughs> but here I am, a part of this life, a part of this world, a part of Winnipeg. Yeah, on this block alone we have uh, Portuguese, Italian, Korean, uh, African. This is all just on this corner. That place there, the Grotto del Formaggio, and this little guy here. This is where I'll come home and pick up all my stuff. It's perfect. I got some fresh buns and some gorgeous cheeses. That's what I'm excited about. It's called La Grotta del Formaggio. La Grotta means a cheesecake. So all specialty cheeses, Italian, Greek. Fresh mozzarella. This one here. They see you eat it like, like that, just like that. Just a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of oregano on top. Like that. It's nice. People that care what goes on. Like we need more festivals. Hey, open your door. Let's have a festival. It used to be here before, but... These folks here, this house was arsoned last year and friends of mine bought it, it had been fixed up. Um, and there, are, apparently there used to be 20 boarded up homes on this street, um, so I've heard. And now I think there may be only one, so the housing has really changed. Lots of intercultural families. Hi Ryle. This is a, this is a hop house we've done too, the guy in the corner, look, look at the fencing he's done, he's done just a great job. I see an ambulance here. <laughs> oh, we're renovating that house. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but the, this is the eagle's face from the side view. So this is the beak and the eyes, and the body sort of flows into there. I still need to put the top wing on, but uh, that was the idea when I made this, is that I wanted to have some native art um, represented in the West End. So that's what I did. This is where I live. There's a brand new apple tree there I planted a couple months ago and it had four apples that, that started growing after I planted it and now there are two. So. So far, 50% 50 of the harvest has been munched or thrown or something like that. 
it's my first house, so um, this is my yard. And I grew up in a town of uh, 1,500 people, and um, the uh, and I didn't I didn't have that experience for the the diversity. So when I moved to Winnipeg, I, I picked that up right away. And I mean, I've had potlucks here. I had about, I think it was close to 40, 45 people was here. And we had 25 different uh, um, nationalities. So uh, The family next door is from Ethiopia and they make some really good food. Sometimes I've brought over a couple of little small things from my garden and then they've loaded up my arms with with injera and all the different sauces and toppings and things and I come home pretty amazed at how pathetic Canadian generosity is. The mother I found her when she was about five months old and she couldn't stand up. I brought her to the vet and uh, they said there was no hope for it so I brought her home and force fed her. Ten days later she was running around okay, and she had two litters already. Okay, but I love my cat. But then I always seem to come back to Winnipeg, you know, for some reason, I guess this is home. I guess no matter where I go, I always come back here. So my roots are here in a sense. Most days I'm very happy to be here. This is my neighborhood. I don't like it. 